Well, welcome back to another video here on the channel where I upload every single day. So, yeah, today we'll be doing a GTA games, GTA games, Grand Theft Auto tier list maker. So if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Please subscribe for your first time video. Hit that notification bell. And let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed. And let me know how would you rank these you know, as a tier list, and I want to say thank you guys for all the support, thank you for 109 subscribers, let's go ahead and get into this, well, the first one, we're going to start off, now we got the DLCs, and we have the base games, as you see, we got the Lost and the Damn DLCs, and we got the base games, so, we're going to start off with the Lost and the Damned, the Lost and the Damned, um, it's obviously a DLC, but it's still a Grand Theft Auto game, and I think The Lost in the Dam is one of the best Grand Theft Auto DLCs, and I'm a Sons of Anarchy fan, so I'm a Sons of Anarchy fan, so um, that's one of the reasons why I love The Lost in the Dam DLC. The Lost in the Dam DLC is about a motorcycle club, um, so again, if you are a Sons of Anarchy fan like I am, you automatically are going to love The Lost in the Dam. Now, San Andreas, I'm a big fan of San Andreas. Um, I got two San Andreas posters, actually. Um, San Andreas, the best. I think San Andreas really laid out the, you know, what these games should be. I think Rockstar Games really outdid their self with GTA San Andreas. Now, Vice City. The best. Vice City was actually one of the Grand Th one of the first Grand Theft Auto games I ever played. It was one of the first Grand Theft Auto games that I did I ever played. Vice City has such an 80s nostalgia. A really good story. If you are a fan of Scarface, Scarface is one of my favorite movies, by the way. If you're a fan of Scarface, you're a fan of the 80s, you're a fan of, like, mafia, gangster type of movies, like Goodfellas, like Scarface, like those type of movies, you're really going to, like, Vice City, because that is what Vice City is inspired by. I love Vice City. Now, the Ballad of Gay Tony, I actually have a poster right here. Oh, that's a poster of the um, Ballad of Gay Tony. Um, she's on one of the loading screens. Um, so yeah, I love that DLC. That DLC was pretty unique because again, you, it wasn't really like you know, it was really different, and I like it. I thought it was a very you know interesting DLC. Um, yeah, Grand Theft Auto Three. Now this may be a controversial one, but it's but it, but it's still a good spot. I put it in great. I like Grand Theft Auto 3, but let me explain, let me explain. Grand Theft Auto 3, again, this was the first, like, 3D one. They were still working stuff out. Grand Theft Auto 3, as of now, doesn't have too much replayability. Um, I don't think, yes, the missions are fun, but you know what I mean. Like, the map, you know, there, there's not a lot of replay replay value to Grand Theft Auto 3. It's still a fun game. You still have a fun experience with it, but, you know. Um, China, Chinatown Wars. I say great, because why I say great? Because I never played Chinatown Wars. Why? Because I think um, Chinatown Wars was actually on, like, the DS, like, um, DS, I believe, and I never owned the DS, so... I think, I think that's what Chinatown Wars was on, and Chinatown Wars was never on a PS3 or, or, or the 360 back in the day. Um, so I never played Chinatown Wars, but I've seen gameplay of it here on YouTube, and I've heard about it, and I've heard it's actually pretty good. So yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4. I, this one is really tough, because... I could put Grand Theft Auto 4 in the best category or the great category, or I could put it in the okay category, which I'm really leaning towards, because I'm about to explain myself, which I need to. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4. Hear me out, hear me out. Grand Theft Auto 4, I actually like Grand Theft Auto 4, but to me, 
I'd rather play San Andreas. I'd rather play Grand Theft Auto V. I'd rather play the Lost and Damned DLC. To me, Grand Theft Auto IV, yes, it's a good story. I like the story. I like the protagonist, Nico Bellic. I like the protagonist. Don't get me wrong. It's a really good game and probably one of the best. Um, besides San Andreas and Vice City and the Lost and Damned DLC, it may be one of the best, but <laughs> it's really a step down from the franchise, you know, you know, and people make excuses like, oh, they're just trying to go for a more, re a more realistic factor. Are they? <laughs> when, when considering like San Andreas had a realistic factor, you know what I mean? Like, yes, yeah, San Andreas, you can get pink hair, you can you know, you know, do all this, you can get a jetpack and all of this, yes, yes, but the story and the characters make it realistic, I think that's, to me anyway, that's what makes a GTA game realistic, is, you know, the characters, the story, and parts of the environment, that's what makes Grand Theft Auto realistic, you can have alien, you can have aliens and pink hair and flying cars and all that and still play on a realistic value. I think because it's a story-based game and what is, a, you know, you can make that story realistic. So I feel like Grand Theft Auto 4, yes, it's a fun game. Um, I just don't find myself returning to it as much because, again, really after you beat it, really what's there to do and even... Really, what's there to do before you even go to a mission? You know what I mean? Like, you can't go get your hair cut. You can't go get a beard. Um, you know, you can't grow out your beard. You can't really do anything like that. I, you know, t you know, I remember as a kid, I remember as a kid, um, you know, playing all of these games, playing all of these games, right? I, I remember playing all these games as a kid, but then when I went to GTA 4, it was really confusing to me because, again, as a kid, I'm sitting there trying to understand why isn't there, you know, why can't I get a haircut? Why can't I do this and do this that you know, that I was able to do in San Andreas, that I was able to do in Vice City? Um, but now, all of a sudden, I can't. So, for me, GTA 4, to really step down. Really is. That's my opinion. So, GTA 4... It goes in the okay category, but here's the thing again that I will say: I enjoy GTA 4. Don't get my don't get my words twisted. I enjoy GTA 4. Um, it will probably be in my top five. I in, I really enjoy Grand Theft Auto 4. I think the story is really good. The characters very realistic. They've really pushed that. But I just it's really hard to explain. Um, Nico is one of the best protagonists, but, again, it just, mm, there's not much to do in the world, and that's my opinion. The Vice City stories. I remember playing Vice City stories, but think about it is, I remember playing Vice City stories, but I don't remember it, and I don't know what happened to my copy of, um, Vice City stories, because I own... Grand Theft Auto 3, I own Vice City, and I own San Andreas on the PS2, and I own San Andreas on the PS3 and the, um, and the 360, but I, I don't know what happened to my copy of Vice City Stories for the PS2, like, I, I had it on the PS2 in 2010 or 11, but I don't, rem I don't remember the game, and I don't remember having it, but I remember having it. That makes any sense. But it is really good from what I remember playing it. But again, I don't know what happened to my copy of it, you know. But like I said, I do own GTA 3, Vice City, and um, San Andreas for the PS2. I got the collection box set over there. That surprisingly, you can still get it at Walmart. I'm surprised. And actually, I'm going to go get it for you guys to show you. Actually, here it is, right here. Right here. I'm actually surprised you can actually still get this at Walmart. 
Uh, limited copies at Walmart. Sure, there's limited copies, but um, I would love to get me another. I would love to get me another copy of this box and not open it because love it. This was part of my childhood too. This was part of my childhood too, so it means a lot to me to have this. And like I said, I got San Andreas from the PS3 and the 360. So yeah, um, GTA 5. The best. I think GTA 5 is one of those games where it doesn't get enough credit. You know, but I have noticed, you know, one of people's complaints. GTA 5 has a good story. It's really good. But the problem is the story is kind of short. But how many times have I played GTA 5? Many times. I've played it many times. So, you know. GTA 5 is the best, so let's take a look at the best. The Lost and Damned DLC, San Andreas, Vice City, The Ballad of Gay Tony DLC, Vice City Stories DLC, GTA 5 Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA 3, and the and the um, owner of those are dumb. Can't talk today. Liberty City Stories. I did not see the wording. The Libis, the um, because I thought that said Chinatown Wars, the one that I'm scrolling. But look, Liberty City Stories, I never played Liberty, Liberty City Stories, never played that one that still goes in great. Um, and Grand Theft Auto 4 will have to go in the okay category again. I like Grand Theft Auto 5, but the thing is, um. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just really hard for me to explain, and really hard for me to just, like, wrap my head around, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, um, I, this, now, this is, like I said, I, m I mistake this one, because I wasn't able to see the graphics, and I wasn't able to see the name fully until I went like this, and it actually says, Liber Liber Liberty City Stories, but I never played Liberty City Stories, again, it's not, it's, it's another case where I swore I played it, but I don't remember, but, Liberty City Stories is still really good, and GTA 4 is okay. So, let me know how would you do this list in the comments below. And like I said, if you are a big GTA fan like I am, I would highly, highly recommend getting this box set right here. Because, again, got all of them on the PS2. Now, I don't play San Andreas. I do not play this on the PS2. I usually played on the PS3 or the, um, I usually played on the PS3 or the 360, but yeah, obviously the poster is not in here, obviously, because it's, like, over there on the wall, um, I think, now I don't remember, I think that's the poster that was in this one, or was that poster above this poster that's in here? But do y'all remember like when GTA games used to come like with this booklet, like these booklets and stuff? They used to take like like they used to take like the radio stations and stuff like that. Pretty cool. I, I think that's pretty cool. Also, I own GTA Five for the PS3, the Xbox One, and the and the PlayStation Four. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, smack that like button, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know how would you rank these in the in the comments. Let me know how would you rank these. Let me know your favorite Grand Theft Auto game. My favorite Grand Theft Auto game, that's really, really hard for me to say, but um, I, I can't speak on it. It's hard. I can't speak on it because the Grand Theft Auto series is one of my favorite video game franchises. So it's really hard for me to pick my favorite game. I mean, if I had to pick one, I'm going to say Vice City. I would love to see a, a remaster of Vice City. Unpopular opinion because not a lot of people want a remaster of Vice City. But I want to remaster all of the um, GTA games. Just like a full remaster collection. Like they did with this. But like, like, but like for the PS4. Um, well, now I guess you can say for the PlayStation 5 because that's actually coming out this year. They can do something for the PlayStation. I, I really wish like Rockstar Games would start doing 
remasters and stuff. So, anyway, like I said, big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're first time viewer. And until next time.